father, principal, sisters, teachers, parents, and all my Xavierites. I, Kamna Bajaj of class 9B, along with my classmates, welcome you all to today's digital assembly. Prayer is talking to God Almighty, the creator of the whole universe. So let's start our assembly with the presence of God. Walk with me, O oh my Lord, through the darkest night and brightest day. Happy morning, my dear students. Let us begin this day with a small prayer. Almighty God, source of life, we worship and praise you. You are the truth and origin of all knowledge. Bless us that we may study well, obey our parents and teachers, and be honest in our behavior. Lead us from darkness to light. Bless our studies and enlighten our intellect. Grant us the grace to seek truth and make us truly wise. Prayer gives us sense of morality. 
So by this I end up my speech here. Thank you and have a good day. Good manners show the best you have to offer and encourage others to give their best in their life. Now Bhavan Maitra will shed the light on this topic. Good morning friends. I will tell you about good manner. Good manner shows the behavior of any person. Good manners are good habit that man respecting other or well social behavior. Well mannered social behavior. To live in a society, we should be in well behaving and well mannered person, which is liked by everyone. Good manner, good manner are most important important to be successful in life. Good manner teaches us to become loyal, truthful, honest, and sincere person. Sincere person. Courtesy is the main attraction of good manner. Well manner are well manners mean always listen to elders and move with their guide in life. Thank you. This was Bhavan Matra from 9th B. Surround yourself with great people. Value them, tell them, show them and do it often. Now, Tanish Talani, my classmate, will tell a story on this great saying. A very cheerful morning to all the attendees present virtually. I, Tanish Talani of grade 9B is here to present an interesting story before you today. So, my dear attendees, in this story, two friends were walking through the desert. During some point of journey, they had an argument and one friend slapped the other one on his face. The friend who got slapped was hurt, but without saying anything, wrote in the sand. Today, my best friend slapped me on my face. They kept on walking until they found an oasis, where they decided to take a bath. The one who had been slapped was stuck in the mire and started drowning, but the friend saved him. After he recovered from the near drowning, he wrote on a stone, Today, my best friend saved my life. The friend who had slept and saved his best friend asked him, After I hurt you, you wrote in the sand and now you are writing on a stone. Why? The other friend replied, When someone hurts us, we must write it down in the sand where winds of forgiveness can erase it away. But when someone does something good for us, we must engrave it on the stone where no winds can ever erase it. So my dear friends, moral of the story is, don't value the things in your life but value who you have in your life. Thank you and have a great day. Failure is a blessing in disguise. Failure is a success turned inside out. One cannot succeed without having failed. Now, I would like to call Prachi Lalwani to share her thoughts on this topic. A very cheerful good morning to respected father principal, sisters, teachers and all my dear friends. Today I am going to speak on the topic, Failure is a Blessing in Disguise. Failures are a blessing in disguise. We all face failures in our life. But some people think that failure is not good. No one sees it in a positive way. For example, few students get disappointed because of getting low marks or getting failed in their exams. But we should not be afraid of failure because failure is first attempt in learning. Those who haven't faced failures in their life haven't tried yet. We should try our best and believe in ourselves. By facing failures, one can learn from the mistakes they are committed and can grow more better than their previous attempt. Failure teaches some lessons one cannot have learned without it. Today, the society may try to criticize you, humiliate you for being unsuccessful, but you should not be upset and stand up to prove them that failure is the pillar of success. For example, one of the most great actors of Bollywood, Amitabh Bachchan, was first rejected in his audition because of his voice and height. But he did not give up. He did small roles and ultimately he became a national icon of Bollywood. This is how failure is a blessing in disguise. Thank you. This was Prachi Lalwani of Class 9. Practice makes a man perfect is a proverb which tells us the importance of continuous practice to learn anything in our daily lives. Now I would like to call my friend Tanvi Solanki to elaborate on this topic. A cheerful good morning to Father Principal, Sisters, Teachers and all my dear friends. I am Tanvi Solanki of 9th B. A practice makes a man perfect is a proverb which tells us the importance of continuing practice in any subject. To learn anything, we must have to practice 
in the particular field on regular basis in which we want to succeed. Nobody can perform well in his field if he does not practice on regular basis. Only continue practice a man can achieve his target and succeed. In his particular field, knowledge is a big thing, but practice is not done. Knowledge cannot take us to our goal. We have to convert our knowledge into action, which needs a regular practice. Thank you. Mm. Education is a tool to improve one's quality of life. Education is very important and no one can deny the fact. Now, I would like to call Dhruvi Lodaria to say a thought on this topic. Good morning to one and all present here. Now it's time for the thought of the day. Education is the most powerful weapon which we can use to change the world. By elaborating this thought, I mean to say that education is the tool which improves our quality of life in modern society as both economically and sociologically. Education is the power and no one can ever deny this fact. It is the key to eliminate the gender equality, to foster the peace and to reduce the rate of poverty. So, in order to be successful or powerful in your life, you must need education. Thanking you, this was Dhruvi of Standard 9th week. United we stand, divided we fall is a great proverb which almost everyone knows. It means the people who are united are happy and the people who are not united are unhappy and they keep on fighting. Now, Animesh Jain will simplify this for us. Good morning friends, I am Imagine from class 9th B is going to tell you 10 points of United We Stand, Divided We Fall. First, unity is a trait that one should try to teach their children from a very young age. Second, sometimes even an adult need to raise their thinking and move out of any discrimination to stay united in tough situation. Third, unity plays a significant role in accomplishing success in every field. Fourth, integration is necessary for each area of life be it in the office or family or school. Fifth, even every sports person needs to stay united with his or her mates. Sixth, if you don't stay united with your mates, then even the most potential one fails to succeed. Seventh, unity helps in distributing work and thereby makes it very easy to achieve a particular goal. Eighth, in a diverse country like India, integration plays a significant role and helps the state achieve success in the every field. Ninth, Unity has to destroy evil practice like gender, sati, etc. Tenth, unity makes every work easy and feeling of togetherness supports you morally in hard times. Thank you. Kids always show their great interest in knowing some extraordinary and unknown facts that they have never heard before. Sameer Bhaktani will acquaint us with such amazing facts. A very good morning to everyone. My name is Sami Bhaktani from class 9th B standing here to tell you some amazing and interesting facts. Number 1. Did you know that our sun alone in the whole solar system occupies nearly 99.8% mass of our entire solar system? Number 2. A hummingbird's wings can beat up to 200 times a second. Number 3. You can hear a blue whale's heartbeat from even being more than 2 miles away from it. Number 4. Venus is the only planet in our solar system which rotates clockwise. All the other planets rotate in the anti-clockwise direction. And then the last one is a general fact but a lot of people still don't know about it. That is, people say bless you when someone sneezes because when someone sneezes their heartbeat stops for nearly a millisecond. Thank you and have a great day ahead. Pledge is a way to show our love and respect towards our nation. So, I would request Vidya ma'am, our class teacher, to lead us to the pledge. Stretch your right arm for the pledge. India is my country. All Indians are my brothers and sisters. I love my country and I am proud of its rich and varied heritage. I shall always try to be worthy of it. I shall respect 
my parents, teachers and all my elders and greet everyone with curtsy. I pledge my devotion to my country and its people. My happiness lies in their well-being and prosperity. On behalf of my class, I would like to express my gratitude to our respected Father Principal, Father Joby, for giving us this platform of Microsoft Teams to stay connected to our teachers and to excel in our academics during this pandemic period. We have almost come to the end of this session 2021. Thank you, Father, for giving us this one more opportunity for digital assembly. We, the students of St. Xavier's, will definitely cherish the values that you have imbibed in us forever. We will never let you down. Now, I request you all to please stand in honor of National Anthem. <laughs>